Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All Blind. Well, I knew it. We have more investigating to do because we have to do it all tonight. We have no choice in the matter. I hope that things are going to come to light as we go because we found out some crazy crap in the last one. Someone's been bugging this room. I hope we can get information on that quickly. It's past 9 o'clock p.m. already, isn't it? I wonder. I wonder if Mr. Edgeworth has already found Mystic Maya. These things take time. I'd say probably not. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to agree. The police are professionals, Pearls. They'll find her, so don't you worry. And if we can win a not guilty verdict tomorrow, then everything will be okay. You're right. Oh, poor Pearls. Yeah, I hope she's okay. Oh my god, I am sorry for the, <laughs> the pause. A cat just walked across my desk as I was doing it. Well... That'll teach me to leave the door open. Okay, fine. So can we uh, can we talk to Pearl then? Let's see what she has to say. The real killer. I don't know if this is something we should be asking her, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. So the real person who killed Mr. Carita was... That assassin, Mr. Shelley the Killer, right? And the card Miss Andrews found at the crime scene seems to be proof of that. But if that's the case, then a new question comes to mind. Who was the one that hired the killer to begin with? Who is his client? I don't know, I know who I'm leaning towards, but I, I don't know if that's correct. I, I don't know, I'm leaning towards Matt, right? But why? Like, he, I don't know, so far we don't know enough about him, and I think that's the problem. I wonder if we're gonna be able to talk to him. You mean, who asked for the murder? That person didn't want to dirty their own hands in blood. But whoever this client is, they're still a killer. That's true, hiring an assassin is no better really than doing it yourself. That's absolutely true. Who? Who could have hired the assassin? Do you think it was Miss Andrews? Hmm, no. It doesn't seem right, does it, to blame her? I don't know, I'm just not leaning with her. But if she was the client, then why go through the effort to stab the knight? Yeah, that and she didn't know what the card was either that she had in her hand. Like, she just picked it up and she seemed, I don't know, she seemed pretty truthful about that part anyway. But if Miss Andrews wasn't the client, then no, it can't be. Matt on guard himself? That's what I'm leaning towards, but they kind of just throw that on you, don't they? Was it him? There's a cat on my desk. Maybe he can help us. <laughs> oh well, I guess Bagel just wants to be part of it today. If Mr. On guard really did hire the assassin... Then he's not innocent at all. Far from it. He would be guilty of the crime. But it can't be Mr. On guard, right? I mean, when we first talked with him... Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Did you kill Mr. Juan Carita? This is what I was talking about in the last one. So it, we asked him this and he said no, but a psych lock never came up, so we thought he was telling the truth. But he wouldn't have killed Juan if he hired an assassin to do it, so he's technically telling the truth even if he hired somebody. That's sneaky. All right, just so we're clear, dude, I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Carita, okay? Yeah, and nothing happened. And that's probably why they thought he was innocent, because they asked the wrong question. Because it, before, we wouldn't have needed to ask him if he hired anybody. That didn't come into light until later. I can't believe we haven't talked to him before now. Did you remember something, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something Miss Andrews said at the trial today. She said something interesting. What was the interesting thing? I mean, she said a couple of things that stood out to me. Um, so what is this interesting thing? Oh, that's right. You didn't hear it, did you, Pearls? No, nah, because she was channeling at the time. Juan had bet everything on the Jam and Ninja this year. And if he lost the Grand Prix, he was going to make sure Matt was going down with him. That's what he thought, anyway. Mm-hmm. So Matt maybe did have a reason to be scared about it. It looked like somehow Juan had in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. So there was a motive. How did Matt know that, though? That's the other thing. Mr. Ungard's secret? What is the secret? I don't think we know. No, we don't. I don't know yet. But for now, let's think about it this way. Mr. Carita was going to reveal this secret. That means... Mr. Ungard had plenty of motive to have Mr. Carita silenced. Yeah, I guess he must have known about it then? That's strange. Huh. Which means we have to meet with Mr. Ongar. There's no way around it now. Oh, good. I was hoping we would actually go talk to them. All right, let's go. I suppose we have to do that now. 
Let's go see. I need to hear this for myself. Who's in here? Oh, it's you. <laughs> wow, it's really getting late, isn't it, Mr. Nick? Darling, are you tired? Maybe she needs to go to bed. Yeah, it's past nine already. But we still have some things to prepare for tomorrow's trial. There's still the matter of the secret Mr. Karita held about Mr. Ongard. Wait a minute, if it's 9 p.m., are they going to let us talk to people at the jail? Pretty sure that's not visiting hours. And Miss Andrew's real intentions. These are two things I must know tonight. But aren't visiting hours over at the detention center? Aw, oh, thanks, Pearls. Just what I was thinking. I'm sure we'll think of something, Pearls. Don't you worry. Maybe we can, like, I don't know, bribe the, the guards or something. I don't freaking know, actually. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, we gotta move. We can't stay here. As nice as this hallway is. We gotta go. Okay, so maybe we'll get to talk to both of them at the... Oh, I don't want to talk to you right now, though. Oh, she's gone. She just appeared and then she left. Hey, wait. What is it, whippersnapper? Eh? Hello, all I know is that anything, anything with you two is ever good. Like just now, I was handed this strange device for who knows what reason. And I was told to use it to search the whole hotel. That's... That's the bug sweeper, isn't it? The one Gumshoe made. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. But the request came from Edgy Poo, so... Uh, Edgeworth? And he said... If you feel angry, direct your anger at that unsophisticated lawyer. So I'm going to feel free to direct all my anger towards you. Great. Thanks, Edgeworth. Thank you much. I'll get you back later. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, let's talk to her. Maybe she has something else to say. Uh, the bug sweeper. Let's hear it. Hello, this is absolutely top secret, so you'd better keep it to yourselves. I heard they found a spy camera hidden in one of the presents. Hmm, very interesting. I'm sure it was, you know, it was a catch for one in the middle of a scandalous meeting. Scandalous? What's that? Uh, I'll tell you about that later. It means, well, you know, that gossip that's been going around about my dear Juan. Oh, you mean that thing about Miss Andrews? But I'm sure she must have had a reason for getting close to Mr. Carita. Didn't we already speculate about that? Wasn't it about suicide? I'll let you in on another secret, youngin. I know who planted that spy camera. It was that obnoxious, puffy-haired photographer girl, the nerve of some people. Was it really her? Spying on people by herself, as if I wouldn't want to see it for myself, too. Oh. Wow, the alien actually admitted her true intentions for a change. I don't know what you're thinking exactly, but I can bet it's nothing good. But I didn't say anything. Oh, dear. All right, Juan and Adrian, tell me about that. So, you want to know about Juan and that manager, right? Actually, as I hear it, they were something of a refreshing pair, those two. Oh? I tell you, Juan really welcomed that manager with open arms, I heard. That manager? Who are you talking about? You don't know? That manager woman Juan had. Oh, her. It's a shame she killed herself, though. Oh, you're talking about Miss Celeste Impacts, Miss Andrew's mentor, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. That Celeste girl. She was supposed to get married, you know. Get married? To who? You mean to Mr. Carita? Oh, really? You young kids, they don't know anything, do you? That girl Celeste killed herself three days after their marriage announcement. Three days? Jesus. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Tell me no. I'm wrong about this, I hope. Why would Miss Impacts want to kill herself? She was going to get married. Well, that's because she was thrown away, you see, by Juan. What? But they were going to get married, right? They promised each other, right? They held a grand announcement session, but three days later, Juan suddenly canceled their marriage. Oh, he canceled it. Okay, then my initial thing was wrong. Is that true? It was in the weekly magazines. But why? Why did he do that? That was not in the magazines, unfortunately. I see. What the hell? Was she really that sad about the wedding being called off? And that's why? That seems like such a simple answer, though. That night after Juan called off the wedding, that manager Celeste killed herself. How terrible. It is terrible. I wonder what happened between those two. Pearl, this is not a good... This is not a good conversation for you to be listening to, I don't think. Ugh. Interesting. Ugh. But there's a picture of her in Matt's house. 
oh, it doesn't make any sense. It kind of does actually, and I don't want it to make the sense that I'm trying to make out of it. That's the thing. I don't want it to, I don't want to be right about this one, you guys. I'm not going to say anything yet because I might still be wrong. On that night, there must have been at least a few hundred people here. Hmm, I guess the police are done with their questioning and investigating. It looks like things here in the lobby have finally calmed down. All right, well, let's, can we go to the, I don't know. We can either go to the detention center. Well, I think we have to go to criminal affairs to get there, don't we? Or don't we? I don't remember, to be fair. Oh, well, something's happening here, so what's going on? It feels sort of tense in here, doesn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it does. I wonder if something happened. You're Mr. Ongard's lawyer, right? Uh, yes, sir. Well, we finally found just the person we've been looking for. What? A real decisive witness. Who's that? A decisive witness? You mean for Mr. Ongard's case? We're taking the witness's statement right now. Gotta hand it to Mr. Edgeworth. Edgeworth found somebody then. I wonder who it was. What's Edgeworth up to now? I don't know, Phoenix. Who is this witness? I think you know this person quite well, Mr. Lawyer. Mr. Nick? Between the kidnapper's demand and now this, I can't see any way to win here. Oh, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth wanted me to tell you something. He did? Even though visiting hours are long over at the detention center, he wanted me to grant you special permission, so there you go. Oh, so we had to come here. I've already called them, so they know. Go on, talk to your heart's content. Oh, thank goodness for that. At least Edgeworth got that for us. Who did he get? For the witness, though. I think I know who, but I'm scared. Oh, God. This is such good news, Mr. Nick. Go talk to your heart's content, huh? It sounds like the police are pretty sure they have tomorrow's trial in the bag. Yeah, that's not good for us, is it? Okay, well, let's go. Yep, let's go to the detention center from here. Right, who are we going to talk to? Can we talk to both of them, I wonder? We're just going to have to find out and see. I'm sure they must have transferred Miss Andrews here by now. So that means that both Mr. Ongard and Miss Andrews are in this detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? Does it... Does it matter? Oh, can we only pick one? Cool, blimey, I hope not. Oh, is there a wrong thing to do? All right, well, I'm hoping I can talk to both. We'll just start with Matt, because that makes the most sense. First of all, I gotta ask him if he hired anybody, and right away. Dude, it's Mr. Wright. I mean, I gotta tell you, even if this guy does turn out bad, which he, I think he might, uh, I am digging his theme song so much. I think his theme song and Edgeworth's are my favorites. But I almost think I'm leaning to this one as my favorite. It's just so good. It's got that 80s nightlife feel, and I freaking love it. I hope you can get me off the hook tomorrow. I'm counting on you. I, I hope so, too. I'm not so sure anymore. What happens when you have to defend, like, a person that you don't believe in? Is that gonna happen here? Edgeworth just dropped a bombshell on me and said... Oh, he's checking his swatch. That Juan Carita was killed by an assassin, and that assassin's client is... This man. Matt Ongard. What's wrong? Mr. Ongard? There is something I must know with 100% certainty. Hmm, you seem kind of different. You're totally not like your usual lawyer dude self. Alright. Let's see. Your secret. Can we ask him about this? About the press conference. You mean the one where Juan was going to dress up as the Nickel Samurai? Yeah, I heard a little more about it from Miss Andrews. That's right, she talked at length about it, actually. It looked like somehow Juan had in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. Yep. That's like the third time we've heard that today. Could you please fill me in on what the secret is, please? <gasps> What's going on? He's got a psych lock. Of course he does. Five of them. Oh. No. That's a lot. Mr. Nick, don't tell me. A psych lock. No, there ain't just one. That's th th We've never seen that many before, I don't think. You said a secret, right? But you don't have any idea what it is, do you, dude? Are you happy about that? Alright, talk to me about this. Juan and Adrian. Do you know about Mr. Carita and Miss Andrew's relationship? Well, it's all over the tabloids, dude. Uh, but I don't know any of the details, if that's what you mean. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't care what Juan did with his life. Miss Andrews, she had a purpose in mind when she started seeing Mr. Carita. Her mentor was Mr. Carita's manager, and Miss Andrews is going to get Miss Select's impact suicide note from him. Celeste! Does that jog any memories? Hmm. No, 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 this is not the time to make a phone call. Dude, I suddenly just got totally hungry. You up for a pizza? My treat. 
Why is he like deferring us? What's happening here? Mr. Nick, what's a piazza? Is it like a kind of pea? Like green peas? Let's go eat one later, okay? Yeah, take her out for pizza, Phoenix. That'll cheer her up. Uh, I got cut off by the pizza dude at the shop. That's too bad. Well, how about we get our minds off this topic and talk about something else, okay? So he's got nothing. He's totally just avoiding everything. That's not good. Mr. Ongard. Are you connected to Miss Impax's suicide in some way? Oh, no. That's all we need. You guys were not kidding. Oof. Do we have anything to go on with this? Probably not yet. This is a very important matter, please. You must tell me. What is the secret? It's just gonna come up with this. Do I just present the Magatama and try it now? What the hell could we even have? Well... Now he's calling someone again. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna consult my lawyer, okay? That's me! I'm your- I'm your lawyer! Oh my god, he's actually calling me. I'm right here in front of him. Uh, hello? This is Phoenix Wright. Oh, hey, Mr. Lawyer, dude. Uh, sorry, but you know, dude, you totally don't have any idea. And I really didn't care at all about what Juan was up to, okay? Uh, uh, oh. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna try it. We have to remove them, but I don't... I don't know. Do we have... I can't even think of what we would present. Let's just see, because we can back out, right? Our health is not the greatest. That's what I'm worried about. We definitely have to bust the Cyclox to get the health back. Oh boy. Okay, Matt's secret. Now, let's hear what this secret of yours is. What if Mr. Karita had been successful in this plan? What would he have disclosed? I told you before, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything about one, okay? Look, Mr. Wright, I can keep on saying it until I'm blue in the face, but I totally didn't pay Juan any attention the whole time that night. I mean, come on. I was in the middle of a nap. I mean, that part's probably true. Huh? I know you paid close attention to Mr. Karita, especially on that night. Uh... Oh, no! We don't have the camera anymore. That's what we need. Is That's it, isn't it? Oh... Gumshoe took it. Do we have to get it back? Uh-oh... So I guess we can't do this. Shoot, do we actually get it back in our inventory? That's what it is. Well, at least that's where we can start. Okay, fine. So then do we have to go somewhere else? How do we spurn to talk to Adrian, or did I... Did I wreck it? Oh, God. I don't know. Let's go back out. See if there's anybody here that can talk to us. Alright, who's here? Oh, who's that? Oh, Mr. Wright, please, you have to help me. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Sabretooth, how you doing? Mr. Powers! What happened? Why are you here? Uh, I, I, oh, you see, I got roped into this somehow. Oh no, he's the witness. That's what I was worried about. And now I'm going to testify tomorrow's trial. He didn't see anything, did he? He didn't actually see anything, though, did he? I was talking with the detective until a while ago, and uh, I was on my way home. When all of a sudden, you there, you're under arrest, and I was brought back here. Oh. They said my face and whole stuff in general looks suspicious or something. Why are you still in your tux? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I'm just a normal guy in an exercise show for kids. I is that a crime? No, not as such. I don't know, maybe wearing that tux is- I- I don't know, actually. So what did he actually see, though? I'm betting nothing. So about this testimony you're giving, what are you gonna talk about? Uh, I really don't know yet. But it sounds like I saw something pretty important- They're just setting him up. They just wanna get this over with quickly, they don't give a crap what they're lying about. You saw something important? What was it? Oh, uh, well, the detective told me not to talk about it. Uh, you can't tell anyone, and especially not that lawyer, that's what he said. Who do you think is that lawyer the detective was talking about? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's me. Yeah, you got it. Mr. Nick! Mystic Maya and myself are your only two allies in this whole world, but it's alright. Ouch. I don't really have a lot of friends, do I? Oh, Phoenix, maybe if you were nicer to people, I'm just saying. This is going to do a lot of damage to Matt, you know. Because he's got that refreshing, like a spring breeze image going. But what is he really like? Well, let's see. Matt's always been a kind of player with women. 
He would never really turn a pretty face away, if you know what I mean. That's it. We've got to become a beautiful woman and seduce him. That's going to be it, isn't it? Aw, oh, man, I hope so. He'd always say, it's just a game, to justify himself. What? How horrible. That's unforgivable. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. But you know, he said once that there's only one person in the world who won't swoon over me. One person who wouldn't swoon over him? His manager, you know. Miss Adrian Andrews. Why is Mr. Power suddenly looking kind of energetic? Because she's pretty, like Zero Suit Samus, and guys like Zero Suit Samus, they all, they get mushy whenever she's around. Ah, oh, you see, I'm actually a sucker for gossip. I mean, celebrities in their world have this dazzling sort of image, right? A dazzling sort of image? But aren't you part of that dazzle, Mr. Powers? Nah, I'm more of a hairy, sweaty, smelly, brutish kind of guy, you see. Oh, oh, bless. It's okay, really. I get to hear plenty of gossip about a lot of the other stars around me as things happen. Well, that's true. Ah, hey, so did you hear about this yet? About Miss Andrew's mentor and her suicide? You mean Miss Impacts? We heard something about how her wedding was cancelled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought about it a little the other day, about that mysterious death. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Wright, why don't you ask me about that? Go on, ask ahead. All right, let's... Oh, God. All right, let's ask him. Will you tell us about Celeste's suicide? I didn't know he knew. Hey, so have you heard this? Celeste left a suicide note. And they say that Juan went and hid it. We heard about that in court today. I wonder if that's part of the secret that he's trying to reveal. I went, oh, I wonder if Matt had something bad to do with it and he was going to reveal that to the public. But there wasn't any actual proof that she had left a note. Well, this is what I think. I think that something bad was written on that note. Mm-hmm. Something bad for Juan, that is. Something bad for Mr. Carita? Why do you figure so? Well, before she died, Celeste talked with a few of her friends. And she said, it looks like I may have been caught by an insidious man. But that might not be him. It could be somebody else. An insidious man? Did she mean Mr. Carita by that? Well, there's no one else that fits the bill, right? I don't know, it could have been Matt, maybe, depending on what they had going on. How do we figure out about that? And that would be reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that's some good info. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Ongard and Miss Andrews, they're both at the detention center right now. There are still things I don't understand or know about, I'm sure. I have to get the two of them to tell me everything. Oh, can we, can we go back now and maybe talk to Adrian about it? Let's try to do that. Let's give that a try. Maybe, maybe that's what we can do. Like, maybe we can... Aha, here we go. Okay, thank God. I thought... I wasn't sure if I actually picked the right one. I didn't know if we would have a chance to talk to both. Hi, darling. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry to be visiting at such a late hour. But there are a few questions I absolutely have to ask you tonight. Me? I thought your client was Matt. I'm sure Miss Andrews knows something. She can't be clueless about the secret Mr. Karita had on Mr. Ongard. No, I think she does. Alright, is she gonna... Is she gonna tell us, though? Something is telling me she's not. I'm not sure. I'd like to ask you about Matt on guard, if you don't mind. Mr. Wright, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. What's that about? What do you mean? You seem to bear a lot of resentment toward Mr. On guard. If that's the case, then why did you become his manager? And why would you become intimate with his rival? Why, indeed. That has nothing to do with this case. Nothing. I think it does, though. About Miss Celeste Impacts. I had finally put her death behind me. And now, thanks to you, it's all come back to the surface. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, but we have to know. Yes, I was shocked by her suicide. And it's true that when I heard the rumor that Juan was the one who had hidden her suicide note, I began to draw close to him. So she was interested in it, at least. I wanted to get her suicide note back, and to burn it. You wanted to burn it? But why? I didn't want it to spread just like another piece of gossip. There is something important written on there about those two guys, I bet. But I never held any murderous intent towards Juan. I would never do something so stupid. I believe her. The suicide note, huh? I wonder what it said. Is she gonna tell us? Hang on, there's a cat moving. 
He's... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Alright, let's hope. Let's hope that didn't mess anything up. <laughs> and that's him jumping onto the chair. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Cats happen. Why did you try to frame Mr. Ongard? That's simple. Because he's the killer, that's why. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to inform the police? I guess. But, but, there had to be another way. The police are excellent doing their job, so they'd figure it out, right? Yes, they're so good that they couldn't figure out the real truth behind Celeste's death. Oh, so she's harboring some ill will toward the police, too. Miss Andrews? Well, I know you're not the type of person to do something without a reason. So please, tell me what why you did what you did. Revenge. Huh? Did you say something just now? Uh-oh. Oh no, just one. I wonder if we can unlock it. Hmm. Revenge. Don't you understand yet? You're not my lawyer. To be honest, you're more like my enemy. But... I'm sure I just heard Miss Andrews say... Revenge. Yep. Can we... Can we do something there? It's only one. Let's just give it a shot. I'm not sure what we would show. But let's see what it's asking for anyway. Maybe it's something we can have or find quickly. Why frame him, okay? Can you please tell me why you framed Mr. Ongard for the murder? I've already told you countless times. It's because I thought Matt was the killer. No, that's not it. I know you have a personal reason to dislike Mr. Ongard. Miss Andrews, you may think I didn't hear it, but I know you said something earlier. You said revenge. So you are saying I was taking my revenge out on Matt and that's why? What an absurd idea. Uh, I don't have anything I want to take revenge for. Miss Andrews, a woman who lives by being dependent on another person. There is something or someone in her past that would make her take revenge. Here's what I'm worried about. I want to know for sure. It's Celeste, isn't it? It... It has to be, though. It absolutely has to be. But then what? Hmm. Can I do this now? I am very worried about this. Uh. Alright, I mean, let's... If we mess up, we're gonna be kind of in deep doo-doo. Real deep doo-doo. Oh god, okay. Celeste, there's only one catalyst that could cause such strong feelings and even revenge, and that is Miss Impax's suicide. What are you trying to say? Celeste was Juan's manager. Yeah, and apparently a whole lot more, according to some people. On top of that, the one who hit her suicide note was also Juan. What does all this have to do with Matt? You're right. You haven't mentioned him, yet. But for you to hate Mr. Ongard, it would mean that he must have had some relation to Miss Impax and her suicide. God, is that really true, though? Can you explain to me this relation between Celeste and Matt? Ooh, no. Can we? Can you explain the relation? There is a relation. He's got a picture of her in his house. Oh, crap. Maybe we should go back and get it. Can we get it? Ooh. I don't think I have- I'm- um, shoot. Okay. Here's what we'll do then. In the next one, maybe we can go to his house and find it? I think that's what we're gonna have to try. Okay. No, I I've got this now. We're gonna figure this out. Uh, or, or else. Or else. Jeez. <laughs> oh, this is getting a lot bigger than I thought it would be. This is crazy! Oh, I can't wait to see what happens. I hope you guys are the same. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>